Well, it comes right to this, gentlemen. We have made a large investment in labor-saving machinery. It is giving us a bigger output at a large saving in labor costs. The sales campaign was well enough done, I'm sure of that. Our advertisements are appearing everywhere, and our sales force is on the job. But the fact is, we are not selling the additional output the new machines are giving us. Our inventories are mounting, and that cannot continue long if we are to remain solvent. The truth is, I guess, that the people just can't afford to buy. They can't afford to pay our price. There's only one thing to do now, as I see it, and that is to reduce our price. This would, I believe, give us a larger market and bring us many new customers who can use our product, but who cannot afford to buy it now. That doesn't always work. I'm also a director in a food company. And I know very well that a lower price doesn't always sell more food. Well, reduce your price anyway, Bill. A lower price on some things helps the people to buy other things, and that helps the rest of it. Maybe, but it doesn't help our food company. Well, now let's see. Even if the price reduction plan did work, it would reduce our profits drastically and make it more difficult to pay a fair dividend, wouldn't it? Not necessarily. The profit on each article would be less, of course. But if we succeed in expanding our market sufficiently, we might sell so many more articles, the total profit would not suffer. In fact, if the plan worked out real well, we might even have to buy more machines and re-employ the men who were laid off because of new equipment. Total profits might then be greater. I'm afraid of it. Price reduction is dangerous. You can reduce prices easily enough, but you can't get them back again to the old level if you have to. At the same time, I do think the key to the problem is to expand our market. In my opinion, though, that will only happen when we get a little more prosperity and wages go up all over the country. Then most everybody could afford to buy our products. Why not start the ball rolling by raising wages in our own plant right now? Why bring that up again? It wouldn't be a drop in the bucket. Besides, we'd probably go broke. Whatever we do, I, for one, am convinced that we've got to expand our market by getting more people to buy our product. Yes, I know. Well, well I, I know. know. Well, I know. These men are the strategists of business. Throughout this broad land, they seek constantly to solve this puzzle, to untangle the web of prices and buying, of costs and income, of machines and of men. How shall these conflicting factors be arranged to provide better living, more enjoyment of the good things of life, and abundance for all? problem at the crossroads. Broad highways leading in all directions. Which way shall we take? <laughs> 